That was just iconic. Um, starting the race, going over Swadwick Pass is just awesome. Yeah, 45 minutes, 55 minutes of climbing from the gun, and yeah, super nice that Vessel and myself could have made the breakaway, and yeah, it was just a proper pace. We just did some proper turns and tried to get to the 30 k's an hour average speed. Uh, I think we made it. It's so like uh, borderline. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're not so used to these long races, like five and a half hours of racing. Um, yeah, not our usual time. But um, yeah, our fuel fueling was on point. Uh, we were really concentrating on what we eat and what we drink. Um, so yeah, I think that's the, the main part of these gravel races, just making sure you fuel enough and still be strong at the finish. Yeah, uh, obviously big climbing at the start and then some fast tar road sections and drag downhill so between water point one and two went quite quickly and then from there on water point two to three was hard. Um, lots of drag climbs, um, small little deep track sections and yeah then finishing with Montague was also quite challenging on the gravel bike. It's rough down there, we just took it safe and when a puncture down there and then yeah nice long sprint finish <laughs> where Peter got the best of me but yeah super dab racing with him. Yeah I think I underestimated this route a little bit today. That uh, first climb was hell hard and then uh, yeah, it was super cool seeing some of the routes coming down Swartberg and it's beautiful sights all around today. Then Donovan climbed on my wheel and uh, we rode well together and uh, we just had a lacquer race and yeah, all around good day out on the bike. This route also, people might have underestimated for with a gravel bike. Um, it's still a very tough route. Uh, you are going to have a hard day out. It's not an easy route but I enjoy doing the dry land events. Uh, you always know it's good organized. You're not going to get lost along the way, <laughs> which is a nice thing. And yeah, you always nice get some publicity out for your sponsors. And yeah, they always do a lot of effort for the guys riding. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a rude awakening. Um, yeah, it's been a long time really since I've lined up at uh, race starts and um, events. Um, so yeah, it was a it was a tall order to finish 165k's. I must be honest. When I, when we got to 80, I was like, Phew, we're only halfway, um, and I don't do that kind of training anymore. But um, yeah, just really cool to support the local events. Yeah, it was an absolutely amazing day. Um, starting off in Prince Albert um, with with a uh, Swartberg Pass it was quite challenging. Um, Robin put me on the herd box up Swartberg Pass and. I realized that I kind of had to back off and just keep my pace, otherwise I wasn't going to make the finish line. But amazing to race with Robin de Groot again. Um, at Montague Pass, I really just tried to, to stay on her wheel and to go with her. So I went into my rhythm, um, caught her with about two k's to go attacked, and just gave everything that I had coming, coming into the line. But definitely did not think that I was going to win today, so over the moon, I loved it. So we just here at the finish line from the Prince George uh, 100 miler and I made it into the finish. Yeah! It was a good course and uh, I mean with a big climb at the, at the beginning with Swartberg and then it was like in between rolling, rolling, rolling and yeah, no, but it's, I have to say, uh, a nice course and I enjoyed it.